Hey, Tony here. A lot of people have been asking me to do a room tour, so today I took the time to do that. So stay tuned. Okay, so here is my desk area. Um, and over here on this shelf, I've got my Criterion collection. And up here on top of my hutch on the desk, I've got some of my larger box sets. And over here on this um, wall of shelves, um, up top, I do have some of my um, box sets. And then I've got some of my still books. Now, all of these still books here on this particular wall are just in alphabetical order. Um, there's quite a bit of them, as you can tell. And then up top, I've just got a few um, signs that I purchased in my Spider Man Pizza Hut box and my Jack Skeleton Disney Infinity poster. And then we go over here to the back side of the wall. And this little shelf here is just some of my um, eBay items, things that I'm getting rid of. And then over here on this wall, of course I got some posters, some Marvel posters. And over here I've got my um, Disney Steelbook collections, which there are quite a bit of them. And then just some regular um, different kind of sets of still books that go together. And then I've got my Marvel still books. And they just continue on down. And then I've got my DC um, Blu-rays. And then I've got my um, Shout Factory Shout Select um, Blu-ray collection here going across. And then I've got my Shout Factory um, still books. And then I start my Shout Factory um, Blu-rays. So that's Shout Factory and Scream Factory. And then they just kind of go over to the right with the rest of them all in alphabetical order. And then as we go up, I've got my TV shows on Blu-ray. Um, I really do enjoy different TV shows, and so I, I, I like getting as many as I can on Blu-ray. And then over here on this shelf, I've got just some TV shows on DVD. Um, these are double, um, so there's the front and there's backs that you can't see because there's just so many of them. But that is all of that on that shelf. And then up top, I've got some more TV shows on Blu-ray, just some different sets. My Hanna-Barbera set, Power Rangers, and some other big sets. And then as we go here on the back wall, I've got all my Disney movies. So just kind of take a long shot here. So all of these are my Disney movies, except for up at the, at the top. I do have my DVD, um, some DVD collections here. Um, different shirts and tops from different movies. And then over here, I've got my Disney Blu-rays in alphabetical order. And then it goes down and I've got some Disney um, 4Ks. And all of these on these shelves. And then all of my um, Target exclusive Digibooks with the Marvel included. And then some more um, Disney 4Ks up here at the top with the Marvel mixed in, all in alphabetical order. And then I've got my um, Gold Collection DVDs. And then I've got my um, other Disney DVD collections which there's quite a bit of them. And then here are some of my um, older Disney DVDs. And then more of the Disney Blu-rays still 
continuing on in alphabetical order and some more Disney DVD collections my Disney Movie Club exclusives and the gold and then there's my um, UK editions with the nice slip covers and some more DVDs okay and then over here on this wall I've got some other DVD sets of course, I got my Avengers 4 movie collection still books and my DC Batman 4 film collection. And then I've got my G Kids collection up here on top with some um, exclusive tins for Jurassic Park and um, Despicable Me or Minions. And then I've got my Fox Collect, my Fox Select collection with the white slips. And then I've got my gold um, Academy Award collections and some other collections. And I got my Universal 100 collection and my, um, what are these things called? My Decades collections from Universal. And then I've got my um, VHS slipcover collection and then my Twilight Time collection. And then my um, multi-movie um, slipcovers collection. And then we have the back wall, which most of y'all have seen in my videos. The only thing that's changed is I got rid of my um, bookshelves, my black bookshelves. And I built the shelves here on this back wall, which took me some time. Um, just got some 2x4s and some 1x2s and was able to build these shelves which helped me free up 12 of those bookcases that I had back there plus I was able to get more of my DVDs and my blu-rays out so all of these are my blu-rays and they are all in alphabetical order um, as you can see there's quite a bit of them a really nice collection I've been collecting many many years and then we get over here and I've got my James Bond movies collections. And then I start my 4K collection, which goes down here on this shelf. Then I got my Warner Brothers archive collection, my two movie collection, and then some just rare um, slipcover collections with Blu rays, my Christmas Blu rays. And some other various collections here on these shelves. So that's pretty much my whole room. Um, of course, I got my Marvel movies. So what I did with the Marvel movies is whenever I got rid of the bookshelves, I repositioned all of these and gave them some wider space. Um, just so that it would look a little bit cleaner. Um, but overall, I'm very happy with the way that the room has turned out. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to maybe get rid of some of these other shelves um, and maybe build some more um, of my own shelving when I get more time. Um, but overall, it's a very nice collection, a nice room. This is where I pretty much spend most of my time when I'm at home, um, is down in this room. This is actually in the basement. Um, we built this back in 2001 and I put the floors in myself, the tile floors, and we did the drop ceiling. So the lighting is not the best in the world. That's kind of why I got that lamp back there, just so you can see um, more of the things in my video. But hopefully you, you like what you saw here. I know I've had a lot of people asking to see the room overview. So hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. So you can find me there and we will see you next time.